Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayo. Thank you for stopping by again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really nice bustier flare dress with draped yoke. And if this is something you would like to see, please stay tuned to the end. And if this is your first time on this channel, do well to subscribe and click on the notification bell, like and share. And without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so for this tutorial, we're gonna be making use of this floral African print. And for the upper part that has the draped yoke, we're going to be making use of this chantilly net. And the first thing I will do is to start drafting the upper part, all right? As you can see here, I have the vertical lines outlined and right here is the bust point, okay? And the next line over here is the under bust and the next line here is the waist area, okay? And right here we have our chest line and the next thing I'll do is just to come here find the center line and I'm just going to go ahead you know come outward because I'm drafting for the front part first so I'm just going to create my hammer curve you should be familiar with how to do this and if you do not know how to do it I have a video on this channel on how to draft a basic bodies so you can just go ahead and watch that so here I'm just creating the ammo core for the front and I'll do the same for the back also because um, I will be using this pattern to cut the back also and I'll come to this neckline area here and for the width I'm going to be using three and a half and for depth of the neckline I'm going to be using six inches you can actually use more than that you can use six and a half seven or even eight depends on how uh, deep you want it to be so here I use six inches and I'll just go ahead and connect the point together and up next I'll create the shoulder slope the next thing is to mark the dots all right so i'll just go ahead and use half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches so i'll just go ahead and mark that all the way from the bust point to the waistline and i'll connect it on a straight line like so and up next i'll come to the under bust here and i'll mark one inch on this side and also come to this other side and mark one inch and i'll repeat the same process to the waist area like so then connect it on a straight line and the next thing to do is to come to the bust point here and I'm going to come down by half an inch and from that half an inch I'm going to connect it to this point and the other point over there. And afterward I'm going to come to the shoulder line here and I'm going to find the midpoint. And I'm going to connect that midpoint to the bust line. And the next thing to do is to go ahead and create our yoke. And right from where the neckline stopped, I'm going to just go ahead and connect it right to the ham hole, okay? So I'll just use a pencil to highlight that. And this is what our bust here is looking like at this moment, all right? And the next thing to do is just to go ahead and create that to tighten the bust. So first of all, I'll go ahead and mark, you know, half an inch on this side. And right here, I'll mark half an inch or even 0.75, okay? And the next thing we'll do is to connect the line to the bust area like so. And I'll just go ahead and shade the part that has the dart. And here I will just start imputing the circumference measurement starting from the bust line and I'll return this dart intake on the bust here, all right? I'll return it back to the bust line here and after that I'm going to add 1.5 inches seam allowance and I'll repeat the same process on the waist area, all right? Cut out the waist circumference, I'll mark here, then I'll make sure to take the dart to return the dart, okay? then the seam allowance then i'll just go ahead and join the point together and up next i'll just go ahead and cut out this front piece and right here this is what you would have for the front piece and I'll just go ahead and trim off the back armhole so that I have the front armhole right here. 
so right here guys this is the bag bodies i've gone ahead to draft it and the next thing that we'll need to do is to go ahead and mark out the depth of our neckline so i'm going to be using seven okay you can use more than seven you can use eight you can use nine depending on how deep you want it to be so i'll just go ahead and connect it to the width the same width that we use for the front okay so here we have our neckline for the back and the next thing to do is to go ahead and connect from the neckline you are going to connect it to the ham hole in this manner so right here we have our back yoke so i'll go ahead and cut out this piece and here i forgot to add the shoulder slope to the back so i'm just going to do that then i'm just going to go ahead and cut all the excesses out and so here we have the back piece and its yoke don't forget to add zipper allowance to the back piece and the next thing i'll do here is to go ahead and measure what we have on the neckline of the yoke okay starting from the front i have seven inches on the neckline and i'm going to go ahead and do the same for the back yoke okay go ahead and measure what you have on the back yoke and here i have eight inches for the back yoke we are going to need this later on okay so we we'll need to add together what we have on both of them seven inches plus eight inches is going to give us 15 inches so i will write that somewhere on the yoke part here because we are going to need it later on so here guys i've used the pattern to cut out the main material okay and here you have the main piece and also the lining piece and I used the same material as the lining piece and I also left half an inch on the top of both the front and the back so that we are going to use it to join the uh, yoke to it. okay and here I have the back with the zipper allowance okay and I'm going to be using the main material as the lining piece also and right here guys I went further to cut out a breast pad for the front piece and in order to cut our lower part, we are going to need our skirt length and our waist circumference. And for the lower part, we are going to be cutting a half circle, okay? And that is a 180 degree. And in order for you to get your skirt length, all you need to do is to subtract your half length from your gown length. And you are going to get your skirt length, okay? And guys, the waist circumference we are using for this tutorial is actually 32 inches, okay? And I added one inch seam allowance to both sides that will give us two all right normally for this 180 degree we are not supposed to even add any seam allowance but because we are going to be joining pockets to the side that's why we needed to add seam allowance to the side all right so i had a two inches seam allowance one inch on both side of the skirt and that will give us 34 inches for the waist circumference and the formula for calculating for a circle, all right, is actually radius equals to circumference over pi. And for this circumference that we have here, it means our waist circumference in this case, okay? And for this pi, it is 6.28 generally. So guys, this is just like the general formula for calculating for a 360 degree flare okay and we can also use this in calculating for our 180 so just stay with me here all right so radius is equals to uh circumference over pi and circumference is in this regard is actually 34 which is our waist circumference and pi is generally two uh, 6.28 and when you divide this you are going to get 5.4 so guys this answer we got which is 5.4 is actually for a 360 degree but because we are cutting a 180 degree flare all right all you need to do is just to multiply whatever answer you get you are going to multiply it by 2 so when you calculate 5.4 times 2 whatever you get there is your radius and that is what you need for your 180 degree and here we have 10.8 and approximately that is 11 inches so guys this is just another way for you to calculate a 180 
half circle flare okay you can use this first method or you could use this one directly the formula remains radius over circumference all right divided by pi and pi in this case is actually 3.142 and that is because the pi we are using here is actually divided by 2 okay remember that we are cutting a half circle so what that would mean is that radius equals to circumference which is 34 inches for the waist circumference in this case and that will be divided by 3.142 and whatever you get there will be the same thing that we got for our first calculation so here i'm just going to go ahead and press that into my calculator and i got 10.8 all right and 10.8 approximately will give us 11 just like in our first calculation so in essence our radius is 11 inches so guys in order to get the exact amount of fabrics to fold all we need to do is to say radius plus length all right and we are going to get what to fold radius plus length is going to tell us the amount of fabrics to fold all right and radius in this case is actually 11 inches plus length of the skirt the length we are using here is actually 27.5 and we are going to be adding one inch hemming allowance because we are going to be folding our dress later on and that is going to give us 28.5 all right so therefore we are going to uh, calculate 11 inches plus 28.5 and that is going to give us 39.5 approximately that is 40 inches so guys all i need to do is to go ahead and measure 40 inches times 2 plus 2 inches zipper allowance okay when you multiply 40 inches times 2 you are going to get 80 inches all right plus 2 inches that is going to give us 82 inches so in essence all i need to measure on this material is actually 82 inches so here guys i have 82 inches of fabrics here all right out of these 82 inches 40 inches is going to be for the front and the rest of the 42 inches is going to be for the back okay so here i'll just go ahead and remove first of all the 40 inches for the front so guys i'll just go ahead and measure out the 40 inches that we need for the front and i'll indicate that then i'll make sure to go ahead and cut it out so here guys this is the piece the 40 inches that we measured for the front and what we need to do next is to go ahead and pick one side up like so and we are going to fold it in a triangular manner like this all right and the next thing to do is to place our tape rule on the peak and we are going to go ahead and measure out the radius that we got in our calculation which is 11 inches okay so i'll make sure to go ahead and mark that 11 inches from one side to the center and also to the other side here i'm just going to go ahead and connect the dots together like this so here i'm just confirming the radius and the next thing to do is to just go ahead and mark the length of the skirt so i'm just going to keep uh the tape measure at the peak here and i'm going to mark 40 inches all the way around you can also do it like this you place your tape measure at the waist then you mark your actual length okay but what i'm going to do in this tutorial is just to go ahead and place my tape measure at the peak and i'm going to indicate 40 inches all the way around and this is still going to give me my actual skirt length okay and up next i'll just go ahead and add half an inch allowance on the waist area and i'm going to go ahead and cut out all the unwanted part and after cutting this is what i have for the front piece and we are going to use this front piece to go ahead and cut the back piece and so i'll just go ahead and fold the back piece all right i'll fold it in a triangular form like so okay and i'm going to place the front piece on the back piece like so so guys you'll notice that we have an excess around here and that is courtesy of the two inches that we added earlier and the next thing to do right now is to go ahead and cut out the back piece using the front 
outline. So here guys, we have both the front piece and the back piece and I'll go ahead and cut through the back. So guys, for the pocket, I'll just go ahead and mark 8 inches randomly like, like this, okay? And I'm going to place my hand in tight and create a U shape. And next, I'll just go ahead and cut 4 pieces of this shape. So right now guys, it is time to start joining all the pieces together and here is the front piece of the upper part. I've gone ahead to join it together and I repeated the same process to the lining piece. Remember that we are using the same fabrics for the lining piece and I repeated the same process to the lining piece. I've joined it together and the next thing I will do now is to go ahead and join the back to the front, okay? I'll do it for the main piece and I'll also do the same thing for the lining piece. So here guys, I've already gone ahead to join the side seam of the front and that of the back together. And the same thing I did for the main piece, I repeated the same for the lining piece also. And the next thing I'll do guys is to fold this piece like so, okay? And we are going to measure from the side seam here to the center front, okay? I'm going to place my tape roll on the side seam right here and whatever I have there, I'm going to times by 2.5 or 3 inches. And that is what we are going to use for our yoke. So guys, in order to cut out your yoke, just measure what you have on the front piece like so. Here I have 9.5 and times 3 of that is around 29 inches. And that is what I use for the width of this yoke. And for the length of the yoke, all you need to do is to get your front yoke and the back yoke that we drafted earlier. And the figure that we got here on the front and the back is 7 plus 8 inches, which gave us 15 inches. And we are going to add 1 inch to that. And that is going to give us 16 inches, okay? The 1 inch is for joining allowance, okay? And that gave us 16 inches. And that is what I have here. And please note, our yoke is actually on fold, okay? The yoke is on fold, as you can see right here. And I cut two pieces, all right? And it's on fold. And the next thing I will do is to go ahead and stitch down this open part of the yoke, okay? I'll repeat the same process to the two pieces. So here, guys, I've gone ahead to join the open part. And it might not be very visible because I used a matching thread. All right, so the next thing I will just do is just to go ahead and turn it to the right side. And while turning to the right side, I will make sure that the joint part falls at the center. The next thing to do, guys, is to pick up the top and we are going to notch the center of the top like so. And having notched it, the next thing to do is to start pleating the yoke on the top, okay? Make sure to align it properly and make sure that the joint part falls at the center okay so you are going to start pleating right from the center front all the way to the side seam here and after gathering from the center front to the side seam we are going to pick the other hand of the yoke like so and we are going to start from the side seam and all the way to the uh, zip at the back and guys, that is exactly what I've done here on one side. I've gone ahead to pleat one hand all the way from the center front to the side seam. And I picked the other hand of the yoke and I started pleating all the way from the side seam also and ended before the zipper allowance, okay? And I'm going to just go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And here it is guys, this is what it looks like after joining both of the yokes together. And this is what it looks like on the wrong side, okay? So in order to finish up the top, we are going to get our lining piece. We are going to arrange our yoke properly, okay? And make sure that the yoke is in between the main piece and the lining piece. We are going to align it, make sure that you pin it down, okay? because it can be a little bit bulky, then we are going to stitch it all the way down. And here guys, that's exactly what I've done. I've gone ahead to stitch the lining piece 
to the main piece all right and i also went ahead to stitch half an inch on the zipper allowance here okay and when you open it up this is what it looks like Alright guys, so for the lower part, I have both the front piece here and the back piece here. And what I will do is to come from the waist uh, area, I'll come down by 4 inches and I'll notch it, okay? And I'll do the same to the other side over there. I'll come down by 4 inches and I'm going to mark it, then notch it. And from that 4 inches, that is where we are going to place our pocket so we are going to place our pocket right side facing the skirt and we are going to go ahead and first of all stitch the pocket on the main material then we are going to go ahead and start stitching using the uh, allowance that we left on the material we're going to stitch in this manner okay right from the waist area towards the pocket then from the pocket we are going to go ahead and you know start stitching the seam allowance again just like this and here guys i've already gone ahead to stitch the sides together as you can see right here all right and the next thing we need to do is to join the upper part to this lower part okay and that's exactly what i've done here guys i've gone ahead to join the top to the skirt part and here our dress is almost ready okay i also went ahead to hemming the bottom part of the skirt and the next thing we need to do is just to install our zip and this is what the dress looks like on the mannequin <laughs> 